What's going on everybody? It is David Palmer, the Leo King, and we are on High Vibe TV. Thank you so much for being here on our daily show where we like to bring the positive out of things. Yes, life can be negative sometimes, but if we can find a way to bring the positive, oh boy, it can bring us up to a higher vibe. And we are talking to you today, I think it's Wednesday the 14th of 2018 uh, in March, you know? And you know, what we're going through right now, I think, energetically and kind of what we're going through on today's show and my daily thought are very connected. Expectations can sometimes lead us down to some really harsh realizations. If we expect too much out of people, if we expect too much out of certain situations, if we expect too much out of the way that we go through life, you know what happens at that point is we can be let down and it's so so much of a bummer when we get let down on certain situations. It's so much of a bummer when we, you know, expect it to be really good and really high and it doesn't show up that way. And that really affects our positivity. It also kind of enhances our negativity, which is kind of hard to, you know, deal with. It's kind of a letdown. You know, expectations can bring us to letdown, but also at the same time, you know, we do have to set some sort of expectation in our life. And it's like, where do we find the boundaries of expectations? You know, manifesting has expectations with it, right? We expect to reach a goal. But I think it's the way in which we expect the goal or the manifestation to be met, right? It's like, you know, having your expectations met in a very simple sense of this is the idea and the goal of which I want. Now the direction, the way that it's gonna come about, the timing, all these other aspects are not as simple. And they are, it's like, have you ever seen, it's like uh, success and there's that old drawing where it's one line to, to the goal and it's just like what we think it's like. And then it shows what really it's like. It's like, and it's all over the place. It's like, this is, us realizing that if we're expecting the world to be exactly the way that we want it to be and the way that we manifest, it might not show up that way. And I think that's super hard because we get so, you know, overwhelmed by, oh yeah, don't worry, this person will handle this for you. They got you. That's the number one thing in most basic life we hear, right? It's like, don't worry, they'll handle you. I know this guy who knows a guy they'll take care of you and then you go and then it doesn't turn out that way. Or well, the best is in car sales. It's like, don't worry, you get down here, I got the price for you this way and then you get in the finance office and it's like, oh well, so we needed to do this and we need to change this and your payment's really gonna be this. It's like, you know, I think that we have to try and, you know, realize this is the goal I want in my life and I don't know how it's gonna get there. I mean, I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna go this way. But if I expect just the goal to happen and let the universe try and kind of guide us there and make it the adventure of guiding us there, I think it's going to turn out beautiful and great because at least we are expecting the ride to be wild. We're expecting the ride to be mysterious. We're expecting the ride to be in any direction. It allows us to be more positive so we're not let down at every corner because the problem I see with a lot of people and when they're trying to manifest in their life is they're expecting it to be, oh yeah, this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen and then they're gonna call me and then this is gonna come and then um, the money's coming on this day and that's coming and it's like, oh my gosh, like it is, you know, it's like when you get so caught up in all that, guess what? You're just gonna be let down here, let down here, let down there. And I don't want people to be brought through let down. Sometimes I mean let downs are great lessons, but at the end of the day, I, you know, you've gotta set your sights high and know, okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get there. Uh, I, I know some sort of the ways, but I don't know exactly how it's gonna look. And it makes it more of allowing synchronicities to come in, allowing the universe to come in and make those things happen for you and make it a mystery and make it fun and make it awesome and make it positive and make it beautiful. It's when we predetermine how it's gonna look that the universe can't bring in it that way because it's like, okay, well, you've predetermined it's gonna look this way. I don't know if I'm bringing it to you that way, so I'm gonna let, I'm sorry, it's not gonna go that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let you down. Literally, it's almost kind of like God being like, sorry, it's not going that way. It's going this way. Sorry, I need to let you down and 
you know, accept going this way. And I think it's hard for our egos, I think it's hard for our souls to, you know, to, to, to deal with letdown in life. And when we're in a really low place, and when we're in a letdown place, and trust me, nobody's perfect at this one. We all have expectations. We all expect life to be a certain way. We all expect things to turn out a certain way. Uh, how do we deal with if we do get let down? I think at that moment we need to realize, one, it's, 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 it's like now allowing the universe to guide the way. I know where my goal is. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but you know what? Where is the universe going to guide me now? Yesterday we talked a lot about signs. Things happen to us to give us a sign and that there's always a doorway to go towards. And I think it's at moments when we get let down that we kind of have to just sit there and wait for a second and go, okay, where's the signs leading me right now? And allow the universe to come in and bring some sort of synchronicity, allow the universe to come in and bring something that's gonna make things feel a lot better for us so we can actually feel good again and get back on track and get back on the road. And the other part of expectation is the expectations we build on ourselves, right? Like, if you're sick, oh, I expect to feel better now. And if I expect to feel better by Friday, I'll be able to go to that event. I'll be able to go see my mom or my grandma or that family event, or I'll be able to go back to work. And then what happens? It doesn't happen. Then we fall into uh, depression or upsetness. And then you know what happens is we stay continually more sick. You know, whenever I get sick, I just now start to go, I don't know how this one's going to go. It's the worst when I'm like, oh, I'm going to get better in three days. I always get better in three days. I'm expecting to be better in three days. And it's like, oh, gosh, it turned into five. Or oh, it turned into two weeks. You know, oh, it's like, oh, and now I haven't seen the doctor. Oh, my gosh. And actually, that leads me to today's story of the day. I really need to change that music. We were actually going to try and do some awesome video to show you uh, for the story today, but I'll get that ready in the next couple days to do a different story. This story actually has to do with an expectation I had with my body. So when I was in the military, I got a hernia, but I didn't even really know what it was. I was 18 years old, you know, and I had this thing popping out of my lower part of my stomach and my abdomen, and I was like, what is this? And I was like too embarrassed. I was 18 and I was expecting it to go away. Oh yeah, no, I can heal myself. I'll take care of it. So a month goes by and then it starts getting worse, right? It starts popping out more and it starts getting worse. And so I'm like, oh yeah, no, I, I, got, I got this. I'll be all right. Well, it got to the point to where it started to really hurt and almost start to create a massive infection. So long story short, when I went to the doctor, he was literally like, uh, you have like a direct inguinal hernia, it's really bad, like we're gonna have to perform surgery and you're gonna have to be out of the military for at least 30 days, like it's a big deal, like this isn't just uh, a normal thing, it's called convalescent leave in the military. I'm like, what? What? Like I was expecting me to do this. Anyway, long story short, he said if I would have gone another week or two weeks, I could have created a massive infection which would have killed me. And so there I was expecting, oh yeah, I'll get better. I'll be able to take care of this. I got this. No, it, it got worse and it turned into a 30-day leave and it turned into a surgery. And yes, you know, hernias are, you know, what you would typically think is like a quick surgery. Believe it or not, the hernia I had took three hours. So it was like, it was really crappy, you know? And it was like, oh my gosh. I, and then what happened after that was I started to realize like, if something's feeling off and I'm expecting that I'll like, oh, things will be handled, I'll be able to take care of it on my own, I've got this, and I reach a point to where it's not going in that direction of my expectations, I start to intervene and get help. Or in any situation in my life, I go a different direction. Because if I just keep leaning on that expectation, it's gonna be good, and. It's been a week now and nothing happened. It's going to be two weeks and nothing happened. It's going to be three weeks and nothing happened. It's going to be four weeks and nothing's happened. There's a problem. That's when I need to learn to intervene, right? And I think we all need to learn to intervene because we don't want things like that to get worse in our life. And that, whether that's our health 
or whether that's a relationship, like I'll expect it to, I'm, I'm expecting my partner to show up uh, for me in this way. And after weeks and months and years, you know, it's like, man, I just relied on this expectation that it was gonna happen and it didn't happen. So it's almost like we waste time. And I think the number one killer to this life is wasting time because we are literally on a clock. Every day we are dying. Every day we are closer to our, you know, ending. So I think that it's very important for us to manage our time correctly. And I think the number one killer of that is expectation. Especially in love relationships, right? Like my first girlfriend that I ever had when I was in high school, actually not high school, it was middle school. Um, you know, and you're really nervous, seventh grade, you know, you just come out of elementary school. And she was this beautiful girl and I was overwhelmed by her. I thought she was so beautiful. It was like the first time, you know, you fall like for anybody. And so like, I had the nerve to finally ask her after talking to her friend and other friends and everything like that, I ask her out and you know, we become official or whatever. So I'm like super excited. And so I expected the relationship to be like, I don't know what I see in the movies or what I see on TV or whatever. I'm just thinking we're going to get married. Life's going to go wonderful. It's going to go great. So we start the holding hands thing, you know, and then like, I think it was like two weeks into it. She dumped me. She was like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling it or whatever. And I was just like, cause I expected it to be so high and so great. And the whole time I'm like expecting this thing to be wonderful but there was really no connection there. And uh, I got dumped and that really affected me really hard. And I think it still sticks with me a little bit from the past, like the first relationship I ever had, I got dumped, you know? And it was kind of like, ugh, it wasn't the best feeling in the world. And I think that, you know, I expected such a high situation to go out of that relationship and that love situation and it didn't show up that it took me a long time to kind of get back and then every relationship after that in, mil in middle school kind of like I was kind of like yeah they're not, they're okay they're not as good as she was though you know like I kind of fell into that kind of a pattern and there I was now expecting my new relationships to be like the one that didn't work out that didn't even like me anyway so do you see how expectation can kind of go from one place and then now we're expecting people to be like other people? That's the worst, is when we expect somebody else to be like somebody else. And that can carry on in a lot of you know, relationships. I carried that one on in other kind of relationships for a long time where it was like, okay, I had a great relationship here, so I'm expecting that this relationship should reach this level. And if it reaches this place, then we have a good relationship. Everybody's unique. Every relationship's unique. Every love is unique. Every sexual relationship is unique. You know, there is no same expectation, you know? Now, I think we could set ourselves for expectation of what we deserve in our feelings. Like, I, I, I deserve to feel love, and that's what I deserve, and that's what I expect. I expect to be loved. I expect to be appreciated. But I think that, you know, it's these fine nooks and crannies of these expectations that can really affect us really hard. And so I carried that one for a while, you know, it was like I didn't, you know, I kept expecting it, kept expecting it to be like this. Finally got over that chick and then I finally had my first girlfriend in high school and that took me to a whole other place and that was a much more positive experience and never looked back. But you know, it was like, there were years there that I expected too much out of things. Years where I expected myself to fix myself and my health years where I expected relationships to be like other relationships that were already not ever reaching that space. So we got to be careful on how we expect things to happen because it could be too much. Now this is my pump up section and I think that the best way to pump you up when it comes to expectation is ride the roller coaster. Why even want to know what's in front of you? The best ride at Disneyland is Space Mountain because the whole fact is, if you've never been on it too, is it's pitch black. You can't see the track. And that's what makes it exhilarating and it's so much fun. So instead of you expecting how the ride's going to be of your life, expect that you want to go on a ride and where you want to go and then put your hands up and have a great time. You know, if we start expecting life to be so much the way that we want it to be, then it's a roller coaster that we know every turn and every cranny, and then it's not stimulating, and then it's not exciting, and then we get let down. We get at the end of the ride because we just waited 45 freaking minutes, maybe even an hour and a half, and we got on the ride and it was boring. Especially when it comes to love, right? When we expect it to be a certain way. 
Like, oh man, I just met this new person, and oh man, we just went on a date, and I'm expecting, oh my gosh, boo, do, 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 I'm smitten. Is it really going to go that way? Like, maybe you should have some sort of expectation. Like, I don't know where the ride goes in this situation. I'm excited, and if it doesn't go the way I expect, then I'll be cool. It's because that letdown can be so hard, and we got to protect ourselves, I think, from falling into extreme letdowns. There's a lot of great things in this world that can come right after something that maybe doesn't go the way you expect. So if you, if you, ex, you know, expect what you want out of it, but don't expect it to look exactly the way you, you want it to look. Watch how the universe wants things to come together and there'll be less let down. And I guarantee you, if you have that part of yourself that doesn't get let down and it doesn't work out, the universe will open the doorway to the new place of where you're supposed to go in the new ride in a place that will meet the ultimate goal expectation of what you have. I don't know if you know this, but every day I do a daily horoscope and more on futurelife.tv. I also do a show called Deep Astrology, which just had an episode come out on YouTube and on Facebook Live, make sure that you check it out now. And it's, of course, on Future Life TV, the website, and the app. Why don't you check it out right now? Hi, Grandma. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. No, I'm eating, I'm eating really healthy right now in my life. Lots and lots of vegetables. Yeah. And potatoes, too. You know, they're, they're vegetables, aren't they? Yeah. 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 No, I'm eating healthy. I feel really good. Yeah, I'm in shape, too. Oh, my relationship, Grandma? Oh, it's going great. We're really connected right now. No, I mean, the love's there. She's, she's, you know, lots of attention. We, we really have really interesting conversations, too. No, yeah, don't worry about me, Grandma. It's, it's going, it's going good. Oh, <laughs> my dreams. You know, you don't have to worry about my dreams. They're always coming true. Yeah, financially, everything's going good. I've got everything I want, the job I want. Yeah, everything's, yeah, everything's going good there. Uh huh. Future life? What's that, Grandma? I know, I'll follow your advice. It, what is it? It's, an, it's a new app? I'll check it out. Future life. Future like you've never seen before. Welcome back to Future Life. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to High Vibe TV. I'm your host, David Palmer, the Leo King, and life is just the way that it is. And you know, I want to give you this challenge for today don't give up. Now, I know that might sound so contradictory to what is going on with expectation and then not giving up. What I mean by not giving up is when we get let down in life or when we feel like there's something that didn't meet our expectations, there's still an ultimate goal at the end of the day. And sometimes the universe takes us down a road that does let us down, that doesn't go exactly where we want it to go. But that doesn't mean we should just give up fully in our life. That we need to stay on track, that we need to maybe realize it's not looking the way that we want to, but if we keep pushing forward, maybe it eventually will turn into a thing that is even better than we thought. It's moments when we give up and we let down fully that we are fully let down because weeks later we look back and we go, man, I should have just kept going with it. There's so many things in the past that I look at that I shouldn't have given up on. Relationships, uh, projects, shows that I've created, so many different things. But when we get all caught up and, oh, I'm going to just let it, I'm, I'm giving up fully, you know, and, 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 and we know somewhere in our heart that we still love it and we still want it to be, we need to keep moving forward. But you got to be careful with this challenge because when you don't give up, like there, there's some things that are just not meant to work, right? Like if the good example is in my story on the girl who dumped me. Like if a girl dumps you or a boy dumps you and it's not working and you try and maybe say, oh, can we make it work? And they say no, maybe this, that's where you say, I, I'm going to give up. But that means that you don't give up on finding another person that will bring you as much joy and as love as that you hope that will be there. 
You just don't give up on all relationships forever. I know, believe it or not, I have a lot of clients and I have a lot of people who just give up. Oh, I had a bad relationship, it didn't work out, I'm done. I'm going celibate, I'm done. And that maybe that's okay, that's their own deal. But I think that they also look back, most of them talk to me and they look back and they wish they never gave up on relationships. You know, if a project doesn't go the way that you want to, maybe, you know, you don't give it up fully, but maybe you change some things to it and you move it in a new direction. So don't give up, but know your, your limitations of that giving up. You don't push things so much to where it starts to create chaos in other people's lives and chaos in your own life. Find a way to not give up, to keep you on track, to keep you going, and to not let go of your true goals and your true passions in your life. Because when we get let down, it's so easy to give up. When we get down in the dumps, when things don't go the way we want to, it is so easy to lose hope. And the number one thing in life that we need to keep going with is to never give up, to always keep going. Never surrender! <laughs> no, but I think that it's very important for us to, to understand where expectation and where giving up meet and where they're separate and where those lines are. Because if you can master those two things, you can always stay on track for finding a positive life, a happy life, and fulfilling the needs and the goals that you want to be on your life. And this is my final thoughts. I think a lot of that was kind of that last sentence there. At, at any moment in life, life can turn any direction, and if we have all those expectations under our control, and I don't think they're under control, but at least we can con control, you know, how we deal with our expectations and we deal with letdowns and we don't give up, we can go anywhere. You know, I have had so many things in my life not go the way that I want to, so many things, but it's those moments in which I look at them as crossroads in my life to get me on track to where I really want to go and if it wasn't for those crossroads and if it wasn't for those lessons, man, I would have never learned on how to get where I am today. So I appreciate those moments, and I think it's important for all of us to appreciate those letdown moments. All of us to appreciate those moments where it didn't go the way we expected. Because the only thing that it does is guide us towards the right direction. So everything I want you to take from today is, every letdown is the exact moment for the opening door of where you're supposed to go, and it allows God to show you where to go. And it actually allows God more into your life than you realize. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for being a part of High Vibe TV. I'm super excited to always be here every day. You can find us on Facebook, High Vibe TV, and I will be here every day at Monday through Friday. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.